Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. and in today's video we're talking about judging and perceiving and why I stopped using judging and perceiving as a dichotomy. Okay, so first of all, let's get back to Carl Jung. Carl Jung never talked about judging and perceiving as a dichotomy. Instead, he talked about something known as rational and irrational types. Rational types were feeling or thinking users, while irrational types were intuitive and sensory types. Before we get into this video, let me shout out patreon.com slash ericthor. Patreon.com slash ericthor is where you can go if you want access to my special publications. For example, my publication on the 8 function model or my publication on how to connect with any of the 16 personality types. I have publications on subtypes, on the hero code, on flow states and much more. So check out patreon.com for coaching and for my written material. See you guys there and let's get on with the video. Now, the Myers-Briggs type indicator decided to abandon the irrational and rational dichotomy and instead to group people as judging and perceiving. However, they did build on irrational and rational as a foundation when coming up with this new dichotomy. In the Myers-Briggs type indicator, the rational type, the extroverted rational type, was described as a judging type, while the extroverted irrational type was described as a perceiving type. That means any form of extroverted intuitive or extroverted sensor was described as a perceiving type and any form of extroverted feeling type or extroverted thinking type was described as a judging type. Now, however, what I've found is when I involve personality tests, it's very hard to back any form of solid foundation between introverted judging and extroverted judging types. Similarly, it's hard for me to compare introverted perceiving types and extroverted perceiving types. What I find is that introverted perceiving types and extroverted perceiving types experience goals and projects and learning very differently. The rational type can be described as a person that is primarily using their executive functions in the brain, their executive cognition. Rational types seek to make decisions, establish rules and establish a rational order. And irrational types seek to primarily use their perception part of the brain. That means they use perception, that means they use learning, new information, openness. When you look at an introverted judging type or an extroverted perceiving type, what you see is that these two types share a lot more in common than what you might previously think. What I've found is that these two types tend to share a similar propensity to work on infinite projects with an ever-increasing complexity. What I've found is that the introverted judging and extroverted perceiving types tend to share in that they love to learn, that they like to keep things open, that they like to make frequent changes, and that they struggle to come to conclusions and to make decisions. They prefer to keep goals and projects working on an infinite basis rather than ever finalize their work. They like to keep and stay in a process of constant perceiving and constant information gathering. Why is it this the case? Why is this happening? Well, first of all, let's look at the extroverted judging and introverted perceiving types. What I've found is that extroverted judging and introverted perceiving types tend to share a similar desire to set goals and to make up their mind. The truth is, they tend to experience a higher state of excitement and anticipation when they have a clear goal or a clear set of rules to follow and a clear game plan. These types, they feel more excited when they know what to do and when they know what result they're looking to achieve. When you tell an extrovert intuitive, these are the rules, this is the goal, this is what you need to do, and this is what you need to accomplish, and you can't make any changes, you kill their excitement and anticipation. They know what result to expect, they know what's going to happen, they know what they have to do, and so they experience less, uh, less anticipation and less excitement. When you tell an extroverted judging type or an introverted perceiving type that there are no rules, you can do whatever you want, you can make as many changes as you like, and you can just do things the way you want to do them. <laughs> Often what will happen is these types will experience a sense of worry or anxiety. Well, if anything's possible, what do I do? What's their goal? There is no anticipation, there is nothing to look forward to. And so these types experience a feeling of unrest. When you tell an introvert judging type or an extrovert perceiving types to abide by a set of rules, you have to do these things in this way, you have to follow these set preci precise instructions and rules, and you have to work towards this specific result, and you can't make any changes. What tends to happen is these types tend to experience a higher state of stress or worry. 
they feel less excited, they feel overall stifled, and they experience a desire to uh, break free. <laughs> they don't want to be in this position. I found that the judging and perceiving dichotomy might reference what in the Big Five is known as conscientiousness. It tracks basically how goal-oriented you are, or how hard-working you are, or how organized you are. This is about behavior, but it's not about the brain. It doesn't describe cognition. When you talk about judging and perceiving, you're not talking about the specific thought process. You're talking about what a person is doing in the real world or their precise specific behavior. There's a difference between behavior and cognition. Behavior is what we do. Cognition is why we do it. When we talk about judging and perceiving, we're talking about what people are doing and anyone can do and learn to do anything. When we talk about cognition, we're talking about why people do things, because they want to achieve and complete a specific goal, because they want to have rules and constraints, or because they want to learn new things. Therefore, the cognitive functions more accurately track to whether you are irrational or rational, rather than whether you are judging and perceiving. Because of this, I feel when we describe our cognition, it's better to group intuitive and sensing dominance together, and better to group feeling and thinking dominance together. You have more in common as an INFP with an ENFJ than an INFJ or ENFP. You have more in common as an ISTJ with other ESTPs and ESFPs than what you do with an ESTJ or an ISTP. And this is because you share a more similar cognitive landscape, a similar desire towards buildup and anticipation towards learning and finding new information. So by tracking this, you can understand how you value and make decisions and how you process information. This is why I say, let's scrap the judging and perceiving dichotomy and let's leave that on the side. Let's talk about that more as a form of behavior and let's talk about rational and irrational as more relevant to your cognitive functions and your personality type in the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.